Lee Fossling, photo Tomas Wan Borgsvid, a Swedish business boss who got caught up in a global tax scandal has resigned. Lee Fossling, the chairman of Sweden's largest business federation, the Confederation of Swedish Enterprise Svensk Tineringslöf, announced his resignation on Wednesday. The Global Paradise Papers leak revealed earlier this month that Osling kept German stocks worth 30 million kroner $3.56 million in a company based in Malta. While not suspected of any legal wrongdoing, he ended up in hot water specifically after controversial comments he made defending his financial planning it's a problem with the Swedish tax system, the taxes are insanely high in this country. You ask yourself if you pay 2,030 million kroner a year, what the hell do I get for the money he told public broadcaster SVT. It is famously said that Sweden has some of the highest tax rates in the world although it depends on how much you earn, with the cliché being that Swedes happily pay up, safe in the knowledge that the public services they receive in exchange will be of a good standard. The cliché seemed to hold true as Osling's comments were heavily criticized by trade unions and politicians on both sides of the political aisle. He apologized and admitted that he had expressed himself carelessly. Osling's term as chairman runs out in May, but he announced that he would quit with immediate effect. Sweden's entrepreneurs must be able to argue for a better business environment, of which taxes and fees are an important part, without being disrupted by potential debates about me as an individual. After consideration I have therefore reached the conclusion that it is better if I hand over now instead of waiting until May next year, he said in a statement. Some of the international figures caught up in the massive Paradise Papers leak were the U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, who had business dealings with the firm co-owned by Vladimir Putin's son-in-law, and Queen Elizabeth, who saw millions of pounds invested in a Cayman Islands fund. A total of 382 journalists from 67 countries together investigated the contents of the documents. In Sweden three different news desks were involved in the work investigative news program up Drag Granskning, SVT News, and news agency TT. Osseling pointed out at the time that although he had invested some of his money abroad, he had also paid 84 million kroner in income tax and 23 million kroner in capital gains tax in Sweden over the last seven years. We need tax finance welfare in the form of health care, education, social protection and a strong social safety net, he wrote in an opinion piece published by newspaper Dagens Nyheter earlier this month. It is a given that tax should be progressive. This is the only way society can be held together. Someone wrote that if high-income people like us start to whine, this spreads throughout society and threatens the social contract. There's a lot to that. Let me, from this perspective, admit that my comment about what the taxes give us back was careless and unnecessary. Osseling, 72, who was CEO of truck maker Scania for 18 years, is one of Sweden's most well-known business leaders and is known for being outspoken. He became chairman of the Confederation of Swedish Enterprise in spring 2016. The organization said on Wednesday that its board will meet to appoint a new chairperson.